Hello again. Look at these two triangles. They look pretty sort of similar in size and shape. Let's just check that they are by flipping one of them round. Yes, they're exactly the same size and shape because one fits over the other. Let's split them again and look at the angles. Yes, each uh, triangle has three pairs of equivalent angles and three pairs of equal sides as well. They're what we call congruent triangles. Congruent just means identical or equal triangles. They have equal angles and equal sides and as a consequence of that they also have equal areas. They are reflections and or rotations and or translations of each other. In other words uh, they're the same size and shape uh, but they've been moved by reflection or rotation or translation to some other place. Uh, they don't change the size. These things don't change the size of objects, only their position and the, and the way round they are, their orientation. Uh, enlargements do have an effect of changing the size, so uh, on the whole enlarged triangles are not congruent. They are similar but not congruent. Uh, let's have a look at some examples of congruent triangles. All four of these triangles have equal sides and equal angles. These two, equal sides, equal angles. Now, to prove that two triangles are congruent, you need only show that three of the six features are equal but it is important to choose the correct three. In other words, you've got three angles, three sides. Uh, you have to choose the right three of those six objects uh, in order to prove that two triangles are congruent. We'll start off by showing you what can go wrong. If you just look at the angles, one, two, three, one, two, three, well, it's got three pairs of equal angles, but it's quite clear that these triangles are not the same size. They're not congruent, they're similar triangles because the angles are the same, but they're not congruent. And three angles the same is not enough to prove that two angles are congruent. You have to do more. You have to choose another three. Now, there are four possible combinations of sides or angles that can prove congruence. Let's just have a look at them quickly in turn. If you have three sides the same, uh, then uh, in each, in each of the two triangles, then those triangles are congruent. That's usually abbreviated to SSS, side, side, side. Side, angle, side. Uh, if two triangles have two sides the same and the angle between them the same, then they're congruent. It's important, though, that the angle is between the two sides. If you have two angles on one side, angle, angle, side, uh, then they are congruent, providing uh, the side is in the same position corresponding to the two angles. In other words, uh, it's, uh, it's in a, an exactly the same position relative to both the angles. And right angle hypotenuse side only works for right angle triangles, but if you can show that the hypotenuse and the side of two triangles, of two right angle triangles, are the same, then they're congruent. But this rule only applies to right angle triangles. And we're going to be looking at each of those four uh, different ways of showing congruence in the next four videos on the topic of congruent triangles.